All right, now crew, welcome back. So today I have a bunch of glitters. Oh my gosh. Some of it looked like it spilled out in the bag, but look, I have so much. I don't even care about that little bit that spilled in the bag. So let's take everything out. Let me speed this up real quick. I'll take everything out the bag and I'm gonna show you guys everything one by one. And then let's do like some glitter mixes. So I'll mix a few and yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have fun today with some glitters. So this first one I got from Target. No, 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 no. I got from Hobby Lobby. This is the Hobby Lobby brand and it is a fine glitter mix, but it is so cute. So I wanted all chunky glitters. I really did. That was the point of my glitter haul, but um, this one is fine and I just had to have it. It's just so, 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 so beautiful. And I just needed that in my life. So it wasn't chunky. Like everything else you're gonna see today is mostly chunky, but yeah, I just needed that one. And then this one, I don't know if I should consider this glitter or bling because let me show you so i have them in my glitter drawer because to me it's kind of like glitter but then it's also like bling from it's, it's kind of like a cross between glitter or bling so wherever you want to store it is up to you but i got it from amazon it is called pixie crystals they're ab crystals so they really catch the light they're gorgeous when you wear them although when you go to take them off you have to drill them off and it's kind of a hazard to your eyes so make sure when you're filing or drilling them off that you have on goggles and a mask and you should be fine. All right, so this next batch I got from Target, y'all. I got this from Target. Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't even know what is my favorite. And they came in a set of four. So I opened them. And I opened them because I wanted to use this one here. So I'm sorry, I don't have the original package for, to show you guys, but I opened it to use this one because I really, really, really wanted to put this in some cuticle oil. I saw that and I just fell in love. Let me show you guys. So this is a cuticle oil pen. And you guys know I add glitters to my cuticle oil pens. And I just, oh, I just feel like that. It's just so pretty in there for some reason. I don't know. It just really just catches my eye. It's just a gorgeous color. Just really pretty, really, really pretty to me. So anyway, those four glitters came together in a set from Target. If you go to Target, look in the stationery section where you get like your pens and paper and things like that. Over there, there's a small little section for glitter and you can find this set. It comes in a set of four. So other color, look at this one. Look, oh my gosh. And these are all chunky glitters and they are just so gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. And I also got these to add to my cuticle oils as well. Now this one came in the pack. It's not a chunky glitter and is my least favorite. I think of all of them today, this is my least favorite and it's pink and I know you guys are really shocked because it's a gorgeous color, but I just feel like I already have that one. So that's why I wasn't really pleased. Okay, so now the next set, these I also got from Target. Yes, 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 yes. I also got these from Target. Now look at that. Oh my gosh, right? Beautiful, there's purple, there's light purple like a lavender. I also see like a royal blue in there and then there's various shapes. So I really, really like this one, guys. I think that'd be so cute on some nail art. <sighs> so let me show you guys the entire container. So that's the little pour spout and the color is called Night Sky. But you see the little pour spout right there. So that way you don't have to open the entire thing. You could just, you know, sprinkle a little bit out right there. So that is Night Sky. Absolutely gorgeous. And then this one here, so I see greens, I see blue, a little aqua, just ah, just so cute, so cute, so cute. I love that one. Um, what is the name of this one? Mermaid Dreams. So appropriate. That name is so appropriate. I can't wait to do nails with these guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about glitter. And I buy glitter all the time. Don't think this is my first glitter haul. I have tons of glitter, but because it's Corona, you know, it's Corona season. We're home. We're bored. I just figured I'd show you. So this one is also very beautiful. This one is called Jumbo Neon Party Mix. And it does look like a party, y'all. It does. Now this one, oh, melts my heart. <laughs> this one melts my heart. I don't know why I'm so into like blues lately like the blue green kind of combo oh my gosh it's so cute this one is called blue mix 
and you see you get so much so much glitter in these containers like you could do a thousand glitter mixes you could do a thousand set of nails and still have glitter left over so these two kind of resemble the smaller one catches the light a little bit more it could just be the, the container that it's in and the smaller container the shape of the glitter is smaller but overall it still pretty much looks very similar this one is called jumbo pink holo mix in case you guys are wondering and i love 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 that one so this one this one looks i don't know the the container looks a little bit like empty like look at the one on my left it looks more full right i don't know i don't know if they jip me <laughs> if i got a little gypped but the color nonetheless is gorgeous like so you have like this looks like a birthday party i don't know let's see what the name of it is it is called uh, Fun House. Fun House. And it does look fun, guys. It does. So I was thinking it should be called like Birthday Party. Um, but I think Fun House is just as appropriate. It has a lot of fun colors in there. So those I got from Target. Target, Target, Target. And then the smaller ones that came in a four pack, I also got from Target. So the larger ones you have to buy separately. The smaller ones came all together. So now this next one. I got the next set of glitters from Joanne Fabrics. Yes, Joanne Fabrics, y'all. They have glitters too. So look how big this container is, right? Huge. Like you could literally have glitter for days. And they have fine glitter, obviously. Um, but like I said, I was looking for chunky glitter. So all my glitters today, well, most of them are going to be chunky. And so this color is called Blue Moon Iris. I love it. I love how it kind of has that iridescent kind of feel to it. Same thing with this orange one. And this one is called Neon Orange Iris. So I guess all the little sparkly ones gonna have iris on the end of it. I don't know. All right, so this one looks like blue and purple. Love it. It's called Royal. Perfect. Perfect. That that's a perfect name for it because it does look like that royal blue. And then so here is pink, and this is called neon pink iris. Yeah. So like I said, like if it has that kind of iridescent shine to it it has iris on the end of it just in case you guys are shopping and looking now look at this one like they match right so if i was doing like a glitter mix i probably will mix those two because you'll get like the fine glitter mixed with the chunky glitter but the same color i think that'll be very 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 pretty all right so here is a nice lavender color it's called true lavender iris so again, if you guys are online at joannefabrics.com, I don't even know if that's their real website, but whatever. If you guys are shopping online and you want to know which ones I have, I gave you guys all the names, but also the iris ones seems to be like uh, a little iridescent kind of. It catches the light. It kind of shines. It's very pretty. All of these glitters are gorgeous. I don't even have a favorite. So yeah, we're just going to move right on into the second part of the video. So I showed you guys all my glitters and now we are going to do a little mix through. We're going to mix. <laughs> you thought I was just going to show you the glitters? Oh no, honey. No, 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 no. Honey, we're going to play with the glitters. So I have my little finger. So this is from the Flexi Finger. It is um, Nala. So I took Nala apart, y'all. <laughs> I didn't want to have Nala's whole hand out. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Nala. I snatched one of her fingers off and I'm just going to use one finger at a time. So I have the nail forms that I got the other day. I already showed you guys this in my previous haul. These are very thick forms. If you've never tried nail forms before, I encourage you to get something a little thick. It doesn't have to be these exact forms because these are very thick and stiff. Um, but I encourage you to try something less flimsy because of flimsier forms. When I first started out with forms, I didn't know the difference. And I just got whatever was on sale. And so I had some really thin forms. And they wouldn't stay on. They wouldn't hold the shape. They were very flimsy and I just felt like I was failing, but I wasn't failing. I just didn't have the right forms or the right thickness of forms. So this one is very, very thick. It's very stiff. You do have to get used to that. But once you do, I think it's very good for beginners. So anyway, I just want to show you guys. I did cut the sides just because the sides of these forms come up higher than I like. And so it kind of gets in the way of the sidewalls and I'm not able to really put product where I want it to go without it running onto the form. So I just cut the sides, that's all I did. And I'm showing you guys the scissors. 
I think I paid about $4 for these scissors and I got them from Walmart, but I've also seen them everywhere, guys. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a couple of these scissors in my Amazon storefront that way to make it easier for you guys to shop. So just click my Amazon storefront below. And I'll also throw some chunky glitters in there as well in case you guys are not able to go to Joanne Fabrics or Michaels or Hobby Lobby or Target or anywhere. You guys can shop online. So when this video is over, guys, check out my Amazon storefront. Go to the section that says nail art. I'm going to put a lot of chunky glitters in there. I'll put fine glitter as well because I know you guys like that as well. So I'll put a lot of glitters in there. It probably won't be all the same ones that I found in the stores, but I'll do the best that I can to match what I'm showing you guys in the video. But either way, yes, go to my Amazon storefront, go to the nail art section, guys. And oh yeah, I'm gonna put a lot, a lot of glitters in there. And then I'll also make sure that the stork scissors are somewhere in my Amazon storefront as well, just in case you guys thought they were cute and wanna purchase. All right, so now what I'm doing is just yeah, making a little, little, little glitter mix. You know, girl over here just doing a little thigh, doing a little glitter mix thigh. <laughs> so I'm mimicking the party mix, right? You see, like, look how good that matches. Ooh, ooh. And I'm only making a little bit because I'm only doing enough for one nail. But let me show you guys side by side how beautiful that is, right? If you were going to make a glitter mix and you wanted to do like a big batch of it, you could definitely mix them all in one little container and shake them up and just be ready to go. But I didn't want to do that. Um, I just wanted to do just a small amount because I'm only going to do this for one nail. So, and also I feel like these are like, they're not Eastery, but they're almost Eastery. Yes, let's, let's make this be like our almost Easter nail. All right, so I'm going to use my big daddy, my big daddy brush because I'm gonna make a long nail. And you guys remember when I was making a long nail and I used a small brush, it took me forever, number one. And then number two, I got frustrated. And then number three, I was like, get this. I'm never making long nails again too much work but nah it wasn't too much work it was just me being silly and I just should have used a larger brush and I didn't so yeah it was my fault so anyway I am now using common sense and I'm using a larger brush duh right I think this is a size 16 it is the biggest brush I have although I do have a size 14 and I feel like my 14 and 16 are identical so like I said before when you guys are shopping for brushes the size don't really go by the size. Look at the brush and the bristles because my 14 and 16 are from two different companies and they look the exact same. Okay, true story. So don't go by the numbers. Go by the actual brush. If you could buy a brush in person, that is the best thing because you can actually look at it and feel it and make sure it feels the way you want it to feel. It's going to move the way you want it to move. And the brush size looks appropriate for what you're going to do. Don't really worry about the number. Worry about the functionality. Is it going to be functional for what you're doing, okay? And then also, I would encourage you, if you like to use a certain size brush, I will also encourage you to get one size or two sizes down and then get one size or two sizes up, okay? That way when you're doing different things like what I'm doing today, if you have to call for a larger or smaller brush, you can do that. So today I'm going to use two brushes. I have my large size 16 to build the nail because it's going to be quicker to build a nail with the larger brush. And then I'm going to use my size nine brush, which I got from Young Nails. I'm going to use that brush to apply the glitters. I feel like if I apply the glitters with my larger brush, one, I'm going to pick up too much monomer, I'm going to pick up too much glitter, and it's going to be a mess. I can't be as precise with a larger brush. So that's why I decided to use two different brushes. So now I build the nail and it went pretty quick, guys. I gotta admit, I, I gotta admit, I gotta admit, using the large brush, the nails go on pretty quick. Downside, downside, downside to using a larger brush though, it soaks up a lot of monomer, y'all. It soaks up a lot of monomer and that's why I don't use it often, okay? Just put that in the back of your mind and just know that you'll be building nails super quick, but you'll be refilling that monomer cup just as quick, okay? Just wanna let you guys know you have been warned. Okay, so I built the nails with my larger brush, put that brush down. Now I have my smaller brush and I'm just able to be more precise with my glitter placement. So this is so fun. It's so Easter and spring and so festive. I just had to start out with this one. I just had to start out with this glitter mix first, y'all. I just really had to. So 
festive. I love it. I love it. Like I, you could just do a whole nail with this. You really can. Ooh, as like a, oh, okay. So let's say you had all nails pink or all nails green or even all nails orange and you just needed one accent nail, you could do a full glitter nail with this. And that could be your accent now. Maybe add a little bling here or there. But this is so extra that I don't think you would even need bling with this. If you did a full glitter nail with this glitter mix, I would not even add bling. I feel like bling would just be overkill. But I know some of us out there that's super extra. <clears throat> cough, cough. <coughs> Me. <laughs> I could be a little extra sometimes too. So... <laughs> Bling will be totally optional if you did a full glitter nail with this mix as your accent. So anyway, really, really quick, I want you guys to look at the flaps that I cut right in the beginning when I was placing my form. Look at the flaps. You see how perfect that is if you cut away the excess? Because now look, I can get right up on the sidewall of the nail if I wanted to, really up on the sidewall and not have to worry about the form in my way. You do not have to do that. That was totally optional. But if you find that your forms come all the way up on the person's nail plate and you can't really lay your acrylic the way you want to and maybe that's discouraging you guys from using forms all you have to do is just get some tiny stork scissors and cut away the excess and i do want to point out there are forms that come already pre-cut like that there are some forms that you do not have to customize them but if you already have forms at home don't waste them just cut them you know what i'm saying just cut them and then when that roll is done and you want to purchase some forms that have those little slits then go ahead and do that but in the meantime just make it yourself all right so anyway i went ahead and i added the chunky glitter i added the fine glitter and now i'm going in with this pink this pink is called eternal beige I got this a long time ago from Enel Couture. I think when I was in school, like everybody was using this and I was like, what? At that time, I never even heard of Enel Couture. I mean, obviously, you know, I was new. Um, but everybody was using this color and I was like, well, let me try. And you know, I tried it and I do like this color. I have to admit, this is a very, very pretty cover color. I really like it. And I do like the way it lays. It lays very, very nicely. So even though I'm not big into Max Estrada right now with his shady self, I don't really purchase anything from his site anymore. And I don't really support him anymore. But the things that I already have, I am going to use. Like, let's not get it twisted. I will use all my stuff. And if it's nice, I will admit that it's nice. And this color is very nice. And it lays very nicely as well. So anyway, I'm using that as my like nail bed cover to make my little ombre. And so just at like where it's supposed to fade, I'm going to go back in with the fine glitter and just kind of blend it in so it's not like a harsh line. I don't want it to be like pink and glitter. I want it to be a fade, a pink glitter fade. So that's why I have the finer glitter. It's not really fine, but it is more fine than the chunkier one. Let's call it medium. Yeah, it's more of a medium. So I have the medium glitter and I'm using that as kind of like my helper. It's going to help me blend the chunky glitter with the acrylic. So that's why I'm gonna call it my helper. And then wherever you wanna add more glitter, all you do is apply a very, very thin wet bead of acrylic and then just pop your little glitter right there. So pretty much that's all I'm doing, applying small wet beads and then right before it sets, I just throw my glitter in. And so with this small brush, you could be more precise with where you want that glitter. And I love this i think that is oh my god that is so pretty oh just so much excitement in one nail that is a beautiful accent nail a beautiful beautiful accent nail if you guys had full green full yellow full pink full orange nails i think this would make for a beautiful accent nail yes it would oh my god okay so now let's go ahead and encapsulate with the clear i'm using the same clear that i used to build the nail this is from my almond stiletto kit so if you guys have purchased my almond stiletto acrylics first of all thank you thank you thank you i know i say that all the time but seriously thank you thank you thank you um, and i hope that you guys are really really enjoying this acrylic and 
monomer. It, it's, it's very nice. It is very, very nice. So here is what the nail looks like. I'm going to set that to the side and let it dry. And now let's do another nail. So I think these two, right? I think those will be nice together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's pour some into the bowl. So here's a little spout on the side. If you don't want to, oh, okay. Well, that did not go right. That did not go right. I was going to say, if you didn't want to open it, you just pour some out. But we still got to open it because I poured too much out. So, yeah, well. That was that, so <laughs> that was that. <laughs> that was a large amount, man. And they also have these smaller holes, which I guess I should have just used that, not the big spout. All right, well, that was that, guys. Okay, so now <laughs> this is, oh my, I don't know why I love this. This is like, I don't know. I don't know why I'm just so drawn to that color. It's just so gorgeous. It's just really pretty. Really, really pretty. Let me give you guys a close-up. Let me do a slow zoom. A slow zoom into my bowl, y'all. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and put on the form. So there's a little sticker on there that says 500 pieces. And normally, I don't use the form that has that sticker on it. I just throw it away. But I'm just practicing and I'm just going to use it. I don't know if it's going to stick to the acrylic or not. I don't know because like I said, I, I never use the form that has the price tag on it or the 500 piece sticker label on it. I always throw those forms away, but we'll see. I don't know. We'll see if it's going to stick to the acrylic or just slide off. So again, I'm just showing you guys how I put the form on. And again, you see those little wings that I cut along the side. So those are optional, like I said, but they are very helpful when you're laying your acrylic, especially when you get up along the side walls. So that's it. That's how you put your form on guys. And they stay on very well especially on the practice fingers if you add that little tab the way that I added the tab they will not fall off your practice finger so try it try it try it okay let's go ahead and build some more nails and again I'm using my size 16 brush and I'm using my almond stiletto acrylic and let's just go let's just build some nails give you guys a close-up so you can just see how I do it so you just plop the acrylic on let it sit there and settle for about two three seconds and again my brush picks up a lot of monomer but I still was able to manage and not make the nail too wet to where it was dripping down the side of the form that's something you guys are going to have to practice with if you're new at form the first bead the one that you add as the nail extension has to be semi dry I don't want to tell you so dry and it looks like you're adding baby powder to the nail right not that dry but dry enough to where it's not going to drip down the side of the form so just be careful play with your ratios and eventually you'll get it because even with this large brush that picks up a lot of monomer I was able to get a bead that wasn't too wet. Oh my gosh, because that is super frustrating. I know when I first started out with forms, y'all, I was practicing on muffin. I remember it. This was last year and I had some forms and the forms that I had was from Kiss. You know those ones that come in those little Kiss kits, right? The little gold forms and they were small. So I had those forms on and I didn't have my monomer to powder ratio down i didn't have nothing down y'all it was, I was just a big mess and i put the form on and then i try to build the nail and it was so wet the freaking acrylic ran down one side so then when i was going to chase it on the right and bring it up to the center by the time i was doing that the one on the left started going down and i was just like chasing the left side and then the right side went down and it was just like oh my god I, I took the form off i said forget this i took that form off i threw it in a drawer and i was like nope nope no more forms for me and then one day i was like you know what let me pull it out again let me try it again let me try it again and i did and i got it guys i got it and the trick was to just make the beads a little bit drier. So that's why I keep on repeating that. I repeat that so many times. When you're doing the nail tip or the extension, just make the acrylic a little drier, not too dry, but it's dry enough so that it doesn't fall down the forms and you guys will have success, okay? Because I know a lot of you guys inbox me. You guys are very discouraged about either putting the forms on or uh, having them stay on or you just can't get it 
And then what also makes it a little frustrating is that everybody does it differently, right? Like you'll watch me do it. You'll watch her do it, him do it, whoever. And everybody puts their forms on different. Everybody has their own little special way. So then you're like, damn, what's the right way? What do I do? Like it just makes you even more frustrated, gives you more anxiety, right? Because you're like, damn, I just don't know what to do. I can't get it. The truth is you have like we're all right whatever works is right you know there's not one way to do it you just have to get you a pack of forms get you some forms put them on the practice fingers put them on your fingers put them on your toes put them on your boyfriend your girlfriend your sister your auntie your cousin put them on everybody try it on different nail shapes try it on different nail sizes and lengths until you figure out how you're going to apply the forms okay once you get the form placement on once you get that down then practice your acrylic ratio your monomer to powder ratio figure out how you want to apply this acrylic or gel and yeah that's all you have to do practice 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 that's the only way you're going to get it practice putting the forms on first that has to be like your first priority because if you can't get the damn form on well honey well, <laughs> show's over before it started. So practice that first and then get into that acrylic or gel. Figure out how you're going to place it. Get the ratio down. Get the brush size down and you'll be fine. Listen, we on quarantine. There is nothing else to do but practice, 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 right? Right. Okay. So <clears throat> back to this blue glitter because I went on a whole rant how do I do that? How do I do that, y'all? I went on a whole rant about forms. This video is about glitter, and I spent 20 minutes talking about forms, but I know that it's going to help somebody. I know somebody out there was going to give up on these forms, and I'm like, no, 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 no. The universe brought you to this video just so that you could hear me talk about forms. You're welcome. <clears throat> Okay, so now back to my glitter. Because this glitter is gorgeous. And I did not even talk about the gorgeousness of this glitter. So let's just give it a moment. Let's just give this glitter a moment of, oh, right? Oh, so nice. You got the little large little foil pieces in there. Come on. With the medium sized glitters in there. Come on. And the colors complement each other. Come on. Okay, so at first, at first, my mind was just going to do a full nail with this. And then I was like, oh, what about if I leave some of the nail clear just to give it a little, you know, just a different look? And I was like, okay, you yeah, know, okay, let's just see. Let's just see. We're practicing here. So it's really no right or wrong. I can't mess up when I'm practicing. So I was like, bet, 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 bet that up. Let's just do a little clear on the side. So that's what I did. So now let's go ahead and encapsulate that. I'm just going to speed it up because we all know how to encapsulate by now, right? So let's go ahead and encapsulate my gorgeous blue. I think that's going to be my favorite because that blue is just so gorgeous. And I love the foil that foil blue oh my god like that is oh so pretty so pretty so pretty all right so now let's just do one more one more one more one more okay the video oh my gosh this video is gonna be so long <laughs> this is gonna be so long i'm sorry i'm sorry so let's just okay so the way i'm going to speed it up i'm not going to play with every single glitter but i'm going to take all of the glitters that i got from joanne fabrics and i'm going to mix it and this might be so ugly <laughs> <laughs> this might be so ugly <laughs> if this is ugly don't tell me like do not be in the comments hurting my feelings okay because i already know it's gonna be like ugly so there's no rhyme or reason to this there's no specific color scheme literally if it came from joanne fabrics i just threw it in this little bowl here and i'm gonna mix it up um yeah it looks weird <laughs> I should have did that. I shouldn't have done that. But we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna make it work. Okay, so the same like we did before. Let's go ahead and build the nail. And what you saw me do, did you guys see me lay my brush down on the paper towel? That was just so the paper towel could soak up some of the monomer because I did have a very wet bead to begin with. And then I placed it on the nail. And as you saw, it didn't run to the right, it didn't run to the left, it stayed right where I put it, and I was able to pat 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 it into place 
it was perfect very very good very very good very very good so pretty much that is how i lay forms pretty much that is how i lay my acrylic on my form and like i said i hope somebody learned something somebody better learn something today <laughs> i took a whole 20 minutes to talk about forms <laughs> I hope somebody took something away from this video, okay? Uh, okay, so I'm speeding that part up because, hey, we all know how to do that part now. We've been doing it for the last 20 minutes. All right, so, okay, so now I I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just this is gonna, this is, this is gonna be random. This is gonna be an ugly nail. Let's just, let's just throw it out there. This is gonna be the not so cute nail. Okay, and I'm okay with that. So the first two, I think, came out very nice. I had a plan going into the first two. I had a plan. Like, I knew what I was doing. I knew the colors. Da, 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 bop, bop, bop. This the third one, for the sake of time, is going to be just... I don't know. <laughs> we just going to make something happen here. But let's just take a minute for this eternal beige. Yo, Max did his thing on this color. He did his thing on this color. When I first tried Eternal Beige last year, and I told you guys I loved it. Like I said, yo, I loved it. Like, I, I love how it lays. And I did not change my mind. Like, a year later, even after trying other acrylics and things like that, and, and really liking other acrylics, coming back and trying this Eternal Beige, I still like it. I still have the same opinion like I did last year. It's very nice to lay. Also, nice acrylics to lay. <coughs> this clear acrylic that I'm using. <laughs> also very nice to lay. <laughs> so info to my almond stiletto kit will be in the description box, y'all. Info in the description box. Check out my description box. If I could find these forms on Amazon, I'll also put these forms in my Amazon storefront. I got these forms from diana princess nails by diana hey girl hey if you watching so in her local supply store she sent them to me to try um but i'm going to see if i could find them on amazon and if so i'll put them in my amazon storefront and then if you guys want to try them you could try them but they're from the company chisel so when you go to my amazon storefront you go to the section that says nail tips and nail forms these forms, if I could find them on Amazon, I'll put these forms there for you guys to try it, okay? Also, y'all, I forgot to tell you guys. So, you know how I have my nails two different colors, obviously. You can see that, right? And so, I'm in the medical field. So, when I go to work, like my first few days of going to work with my nails like this, I... I'm not going to say like I was shy or anything because, you know, I'm me, like take it or leave it. But um, I definitely wasn't like so out there with my hands because I talk with my hands. So I really wasn't like all crazy with my hands, but still nurses will see it. And I thought they would be like very judgy, you know, but no, it was very the opposite. And everybody was like, oh, my God, I love that. And and some of them would be like, you know what? Those are very pretty. I wouldn't personally wear them because they wouldn't fit me, but they definitely fit you. They fit your personality. Like I got a lot of compliments on these nails. And you know what the biggest compliment of all? Are y'all ready for the biggest compliment of all? You ready? Have a seat. Sit down for this because this had me floored. Muffin. I Muffin said, Ma, the next time I get my nails done, I want them like that. What? <laughs> what? That's when I knew they was popping. Okay. Everybody told me they was cute. I was like, all right, yeah, you know, I did a little slight work, a little, little slight work. But when Muffin told me, she said, Ma, I want my nails like that next time. I said, oh, what you mean? You like this color? She's like, yeah, I want um, two different hands like that. I said, ah, okay. You know, I try to hide my excitement. I didn't want her to know that I was fully excited, honey. I didn't want her to know. So I just like, oh, okay, you, okay, I got you. <laughs> but I got you, girl. I got you, girl. Girl, you know I got you. <laughs> yes, that was the best compliment of all. Because Muffin is very, very, very like, oh my God, you guys already know. I talk about it all the time, honey. But yes, that was like, oh, I knew they were popping at that moment. So anyway, <clears throat> that was a very proud mommy moment. <laughs> 
Anyway, y'all, I went ahead and uh, let all the nails dry. I filed them and it really didn't take a lot to file. I just filed them. And now I am applying this top coat. The top coat is from The Puddle. Oh, and that little gold brush, <laughs> that little gold brush is also from The Puddle. So I do have a coupon code from The Puddle now, y'all. Yes. I have a coupon code from the Poddle now. Finally, right? Finally. So you guys can use my code. It will be in the coupon code section below. Use my code. Also, she is having a sale. Oh, she's having a sale. So I don't know if you could combine the sale with my coupon code, but try it. Definitely try it and save you guys some money. If you wanted this brush for a long time, now's the time to get it. If you want that little cute lamp that I use all the time, the little cute pot of lamp, now's the time to get it. Now's the time. Okay, okay, okay. Enough rambling, enough rambling. Are y'all ready for the nails? Are y'all ready for the glitter nails? Da, 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 da! Oh, how pretty is that? That is so pretty. I knew I was gonna love that. And then this one. So the paper did get stuck. And I had to use my e-file to file underneath to get the paper off. So word to the wise, I will not do that anymore. Now here's the nail that I thought was going to be hideously ugly, um, but it actually came out pretty. It actually came out pretty, y'all. <laughs> I thought it was going to be ugly, but I actually like it in the end. So here they are all side by side. Oh my God, they're so cute. I love them so much. So much. Okay, let me show you guys again one by one so you guys can pick a favorite. I don't know. I think uh, it's a toss up between the first two because that blue is gorgeous, but I also like the mixture of the first one. So for me, it's a tie between the first two, but I do think they're all very, very pretty. All right, now crew, that is a wrap. Wow, this video was way longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope that you guys were entertained, right? It gave you guys something to do on Corona Day, Corona Week, Corona Month, I don't know, Corona season. This is a whole season now. So yeah, so anyway, yeah, it gave you guys something to do during this Corona season. Hope you guys are staying safe and having fun doing nail art, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!